wish we could turn on like just a couple of these lights. Hey, I check and see. Hey, bueno, bueno, bueno. Hola, Camille. I'm an intuitive psychic spiritual counselor, physical medium, remote viewer, automatic writer, inner child, shadow worker, life coach. We are live at the Liberty Hotel at a murder mystery night where the third floor is completely um, haunted, right? In the third, it's a third floor. Like room 304. It was like yeah, room that's it with the little girl, I think. Oh. There's a, there's a little girl that they always see in here. Um, but if you guys could please come on and tell me who you are and share out, I'd greatly appreciate it. And just share a couple places. I've got uh, Crystal here. She's going to get a reading. Um, and I will also do some free cards for you guys if you get if you get to uh, if you share me out, okay? We got an exchange of energy in here, okay? Alright. I'm just sharing out, so if you guys could please share me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. So we're going to get started. I knew, normally have great music playing, but we are at um, this hotel, so they're already looking at for the... They need to get a little awkward. It is. Just... Alright, tell me where you're from. Hello, hello, hello. We're going to get started. my page so I can see y'all's comments. Um, right. I know you may be missing something. So I'm going to go ahead and get her cards out. And what are we doing? Just a general? Just general, yeah. Okay. We don't know how big deal it is that I can show you. I just had a major surgery on my shoulder. Uh -huh. I was doing the show. Ain't that right, guys? I was doing them. All right. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Um, not really. I've okay. never really done one of these. Okay, so this is just your first one. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Guys, please share me out. I don't really know which way I'm laying these cards until I do it. Thank you, guys. Shall see. And then you guys can kind of see how, well, like, if you were to book a reading with me, uh, I would have this on the altar, doing the exact same thing, just but probably laid out a little different. This is a square, so I, I do my readings like a square. A little bit later, and we will go. I'll go upstairs, and we will. I guess. The third floor is the one that's kind of haunted. Uh, do they rent rooms on the third floor? I, okay. I think she said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. So there's some people that want to stay up there. But down here, I feel no energy except for the guy that works there. He sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's some really bad energy. Is that who it is? Yeah. That works here? Is the that one that who? was reading the... the Those the songs, yeah. 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 A little off there. He's a manager, so that yeah. makes sense. Oh, well. Figures. He said, you cannot go in that hallway. 
You cannot set up over there. I'm like, oh my God. Where would you like me to go in there? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Do you have something to do with He's this? A, what do they call it? A blue nose. A blue nose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Let me get your crystals going. I've already prayed and sage before I even walked in the building, so I already did my prayer. I know you guys are used to me doing my prayer, but I've already did it, so I can't do, I can't light sage in here. So okay. So I'm gonna this so I can see them. Alright. Let's get started. And guys, you, you keep sharing out and then I will do some free cards in between the the readings I have booked, okay? Self-control. Hi yourself. Okay, you need to... We've got a lot of worry. we got some inner worry going on. Um, very insecure. Not really... Is everything in the world that's happening in the world really bothering you at this time? I'm kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Th that's what you're talking about here with self-control. Now, I want you to remember something, okay? When, um, we've always had crazy shit in the world. Right now, we're just seeing it, okay? And we've gone through this stuff time and time again, all right? And we always succeed. So... It's better to control yourself. Don't pay attention to the news, okay? Don't be watching that every day. Don't worry about what's going on out there because there's forces and everything. If we get right with ourselves and we keep our vibration in a positive, we are helping. So the more people that we can stay, get to stay in the positive and not stay in the fear, the more we are helping, okay? We want to be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem, right? And that's what will happen, and we don't mean to be. And I'm not saying we're meaning to be. It just happens. Yeah. So, just don't worry about. Uh, there's so much stuff put out there for fear, and um, it's just not so fear. Okay. Um, you can always. Do you know how to ground? Okay. Grounding is where you're connecting the earth. It's very easy. Give you a, a few little steps right now. You can walk around there for the on the grass, right? Um, some people like to do the vision of tying yourself to the earth. I personally just like going outside, feeling the wind. How does it feel? Is it, oh, is it, sure. is it going from this side or that side? Of it? You know, and if you focus on the wind, you'll ground your mind and all that worry and stuff will go away. If you have a pet, play with your pet, touch plants. Okay? That's all part of nature. Anything that goes with nature grounds you, okay? But you need to get do some work to get connected to your higher self. Okay? okay? That way you're not too worried. Finances. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's part of that, right? Yeah. Oh definitely. <laughs> That's part of that. Um it is what it is, but you just do the best you can. Yeah. Okay? That's that's the most important thing for people to do and understand. As long as you're doing your best, you're okay. It's, you're going to be okay. Do you pray? Do you believe in God? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's okay if you don't, but, you know, I always just ask you, well, how much are you praying? Um, not every day, but it's been a lot more lately. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also pray to the angels to help guide you and show you. Okay. Uh, there's certain angels that do certain things, mm -hmm. um, and, but know that everything lies within you. So whatever you, whatever your thoughts are, is what you're creating mm -hmm. okay. within your circle. 
Yeah. Now you're not creating. I mean, we all are creating what's out there, but we got to start here within our circle. So what we what we have going on right here is a direct vision of what our thoughts are. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, and talk about now. Don't say I wanna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this. No, just I do my best. Mm-hmm. I do this. Bring it into the now. Okay. Yeah. This will work out. And I just talked about that. That was a yeah. praying. <laughs> that was a praying in the angel. So there, we know what that slides all for. Um, first, the magic. Oh, this is a beautiful part. Look at that. Um, you see, when we flip with this script, when we start changing the way we think, then we start understanding that we can manifest, and then we see the beautiful things. Because everything good comes as a blessing, right? Mm-hmm. And so many little things. We're always looking for that big, what's that big blessing? Mm-hmm. You know, what's that big miracle? But pay attention to the small ones because that's, those are the ones you get the most. Okay? Okay. You got that? Oh, here. Let me show you guys. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I want you to look at this part. This goes back to this one. We're going to think of our mind as four people, okay? Mm -hmm. We've got ego, okay, that that has a lot of bad things to it, and it has some good things. That's what keeps us sane, okay? So we can't kill off the ego, but we need to control the ego. uh, Ego, because what happens when when you start getting worried and scared and just like really anxious or anxiety or stress, Mm -hmm. he goes and tells his buddy, Mr. Fear. Mr. Fear tells his buddy doubt and distrust. Um, okay? So then now you've got like three of these guys. To spend, and, uh, you know? And so the more you don't connect to that energy, the more this shrinks down. This is something that will never go away. You have to learn how to control it. Mm-hmm. Okay? And you have the power within you to do so. Spread your wings. This is the archangels talking to you. Let me show you guys. Spread your wings. Um, Archangel Ariel, do not block, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect, and you are so ready to soar. This is a scary part, right? Yeah. Because it's like, how do I do that? Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> that's where you're at, and that's okay. You know, it's it's the little steps, and sometimes we take three steps forward and one, two steps back, but yeah. we still got to step there. And when once the uh, higher power. See, and that could be anything. It could be the angels, your loved ones, your uh, guardian angels, your art, you know, any kind of angel. Once they see that you're really committed to making a change, they can step in and help you. But no, they can never step in and go against your free will. They cannot help you in anything. Okay? Uh, because that's the rule of God. That's why we have what we have in the world. We have to have the heinousy of evil to which the majesty of evil. If we wouldn't have all that nasty, that nasty stuff going on, we would really appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, your Native American card is Stone of Self. Stone of Self. This is a beautiful card. Inner power, true self, and potential. Potential. Inner power and true self. In here. True self. Getting rid of this. Support. This is beautiful. So you just need to get hooked up with some kind of like-minded people, who, you know, and get around and you know, get into um, a support group or you know, a learning group, so you can kind of see a little different things, so you can start building from the inside out. Yeah. Okay. Because that, that uh, little anxious part of you is uh, not very big. You feel like it's very big, but it's really not that big. Okay, it has a lot to do with money as well. Mm-hmm. And you got to remember, money doesn't. Money needs me. Money. I don't need money. Money needs me. Yeah. Money is just a, a piece of energy. It's all it is. Okay. And it needs you to be able to circulate. Yeah. When you change that, you, anytime you say something in need, you're bringing a lower level. Vibration. 
I don't need my money to it's me. Okay? Ooh, heaven's door. See, this is going to take you to that peace and truth world. Do you see that yeah. angels with you? Um, you start working on this stuff right here. This is where you go. This is a death. This is like joining the spirit to be able to really connect. Because you want to have, a spirit guide is kind of like, um, like your, think of it as like your best friend is always with you, he or she is always with you, whether you realize it or not. But the more that we can get connected to it, and, and then they can help help us get that feeling. Like when you feel that feeling in your gut, you know, when you're just like, you know, I just don't feel that that's right. Yeah. That's from the angels. Um, and higher self. If you feel it, like, you know, sometimes you feel it in, in your lower belly, right? Yeah. That's, um, that's from you. That's coming from your safety, your solar places in your safety. It's trying to touch your intuition. So we need to get connected to intuition because when we get connected to intuition, we get uh, tired. <coughs> When you do that, then you get into discernment, and then you don't have to worry about judgment anymore. Okay, we don't need to use judgment when we can use discernment. Okay? And then we got a higher view. Higher view. See? Then you're going to have a higher view. You're going to be able to see from here instead of down here. Yeah. Because when you're down here, you can only see what's right there in front of you. You can't see. So you need to be up high like this so you can see all of the whole picture. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful card. This is um, this is your inner child. That we all have that little kid inside of us, mm -hmm. right? Um, and they're they're trying to get you to bring that child out more, have more fun, have more fun. Don't be afraid to have fun. This right here is is half of you. The like problem today. is we get like today. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Today. Because and, uh, I know it's uncomfortable for you because you kind of. Like, a little frozen, and that's yeah. okay. Just keep doing it, and pretty soon it won't feel that way. So what you're doing tonight is really, I mean, that's really cool. Yeah, it's like one yeah. of the first things I've ever done. Like yeah, mm -hmm. so you can in, in, enjoy it and laugh, and that's a part of you you need to make, you know, just be silly. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's the part that loves life, believes in love, uh, butterflies, um, unicorns, you know, mm -hmm. that's the unconditional love inside of you. And it really helps you connect more because the objective is to get your inner child connected to your higher self so you can get connected to the divine. It's mm -hmm. a trinity. Yeah. Okay? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, yeah. child, inner self, God. Got it. And then we got pure, uh, mere, oh, material, spiritual, prosperity. This is beautiful because this is telling you, see, <laughs> see, it's coming. This is, I know this is a worry. See, if you look right here, this is your worry. You see that? <laughs> or, yeah, yeah the all these cards right here has to do with what's going on. This side right here is what you need to do to fix it. Mm -hmm. This right here is telling you if you do it, baby, this is where you're going. Okay? Then your last card is... <laughs> but it's raise or promotion. Oh, cool. <laughs> raise or promotion. See, these, these cards are really uh, good cards. It says, congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So, how much do you have? How much faith do you have? Oh, a lot. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> what did you say? A lot. Yeah, you do? You sure? I'm trying to. All right. I'm working so, on it. There you go. I'm working on it. That's working a good on Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying. I'm working on I'm it. I'm working on it. Because faith means when you really get into this, you're going to learn that all this is just an illusion. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you really create. When you first create something, it's going to blow your fucking mind. <laughs> You're going to be like, what? I yeah. can really create, and you can. You can have whatever life you want to have. And just stay focused in the positive 
so that around you will be positive. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes you yeah. have those people, and that's okay. Go, go manage them. You know, laugh at them. <laughs> you know, picture them as you know naked. <laughs> Are you, or that's probably not appropriate. Uh, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? I, it, whatever it takes, just to kind of get get that vision of them as it can't affect you. Their energy yeah. can't affect you. People can only affect you if you allow. You have a lot right here. But you have to reach out. You've got to get involved in some things so you can have that support system. Yeah. Okay? And we're working on the inner self, true self, and uh, potential. And we're going to spread our wings because that's what we do. We rise up. It's yes. time for you to stand in your power. My name is Crystal, and I'm taking my shoes back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. But you've got to ask for assistance. Yeah. Support. You have to get... You have, you have to stand in your faith. Faith is all you really have. Love and faith are the only thing that exists. You have to have unconditional love first and then faith. Yeah. That's all that really exists. Everything else is just an illusion. It's just what we've got to control. Yeah. God is love. Love is God. God is not this picture of some man. He is actually a consciousness of love. A blob of love. Yeah. And you don't have to like really tap into that but you have a source for guidance, and that's amazing. I, I mean, my son can, you know, he's got into it. But now you guys, just, I didn't know this stuff at your age. So I made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. I wish I would have had some guidance, because mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have fucked up so much. <laughs> but you've got, you've got the availability to have guidance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's a really beautiful reading. Thank you. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You want to take a picture? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. How you doing? Thank you for being here. Hi, everyone. I'm going to pull you guys a card here in a minute. Can you please share me out? Make, make sure you join my lives because I always, you know, I mix it up. I'll draw a free card, you know, and go back and forth. That's cool. Yeah. And like I said, I told you about those classes. And it's I'm only going to be like 22 and about 22 cents. It's going to be just a few hours. But it's enough stuff to get you. I want to do it like, you know, like a prerequisite thing so I can build on top. And then wherever you want to go, whatever you want to learn, go. Be gone. Have fun. Huh? Oh. What are you doing? Oh, I gotta put my name. <laughs> I was like, what? What am I doing here? What am I doing? Do you do like, um, what do you call my people that like passed away? Like readings from, uh, spirit readings? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, medium, yeah. Like mediumship? Yes, I do. But that's a little, um, that's a little bit more. Yeah, it is, and I want, I want a picture of them. You know, they're a little that's, more involved. Is that me? <laughs> Okay. She goes, oh, she? <laughs> didn't have a picture of me. I didn't set that one up. Hey, hey, Reva. Hey, Sylvia. Awesome. Thank you so hey, much. Hey, Lisa. My pleasure. Thank you. And I hope to hear from you again. And if you ever need me, you can call me. You're in Fort Worth, so where are you? We're in Abilene. Oh, well, you're not that far. No, it's like two and a half. I live right up. I live on Southwest Fort Worth, so I'm over by the Gila Mall. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah I'm so, going to definitely get on the Facebook. I think I already... I Facebook okay. Yeah, and you know, reach out. I can always come to you. We can meet somewhere. You can come to me mm -hmm. uh, and do readings, or you know, I do them online and through WhatsApp, yeah. app, or I can record it for you and oh, then send cool. you the link. Like I would, like I would do this and record it, mm -hmm. get you a link and send it to you, and then you That's can have it. Cool. Oh, yeah. Technology. Yeah, it's a wonderful <laughs> thing if it works. You know, right, thank sometimes you so much. You, you, it's my clerk right here. We do the same. <laughs> I can't stretch out that way. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed night. Thank you so much for the privilege to read you. All right, guys. Oh, my God, it's showing my little fat on. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. So how's everybody doing? I've got a list of people here, so I need to text Bonnie Foster. How's everybody doing? Did you guys hear me out? Hmm? 
Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let's see. I did two yesterday. Oh my gosh. I swim for like four hours. That's great. Um, hang on one second. I gotta text somebody here. DJ's going and doing the hunt. DJ got back from camp. So he's here tonight. And he is um, up there helping them find spirit. Because DJ can feel them and see them as well. Pretty cool gift. You know, a lot of people say they see him, but we we him actually see the spirit. We actually see it. Um, and it's whatever form they want to be in. It's not like... Um, in this, you know, how the movie's played. It ain't like that. Sometimes they look like that, but most of the time they don't. Most of the time it's just an energy blob. Sometimes they will take form, and that's okay. If anybody wants a reading, though, you guys can, um, oh shoot, I didn't put my code out, did I? Um, Peggy, are you on here? Could you grab my um, PayPal? I'm just texting this lady, let her know. They did, uh, they did a little murder mystery, so they were in here playing a game of who done it and stuff. That's what messed up. Uh, okay, so how's everybody doing? Tell me before somebody gets here. Give me some um, posture. Okay. Uh, let me put her in the clients. There we go. Done. Let's save. Okay. So let me pull a card for you guys. Who wants a card? Did you guys show me out? Good Lord, I'm so thirsty in this. I'll tell you what, there's... I went upstairs and... Oh. I don't know how much I'm going to be up there. Because I would be focused on bringing that little girl home. Sometimes I bring the spirits home. So that way they can cross. Only if they ask. If they ask, I have to, you know? I can't say no. If I was to say no, I'd... I'd have to suffer the consequences, and that's not really. Okay. So, she's coming back from going to the store. So, all these people got rooms here. I don't know if me and DJ are going to stay here or not. Probably not. I'm thinking no. But we'll see. I haven't gone to, I haven't investigated upstairs. So I don't know. Alright, let's do some uni y'all want some unicorn cards? Can you, um, I know I had a ghost one time in my house and made me sick. Oh, yeah, I can. And in fact, I'm going to stop with the tea. All right, give me emojis so I can pull you guys some cards before she comes. Damn it. I'm telling you, I'm so thirsty. It's not even funny. It's like I walked in this motel and I just don't have any, I can't, I can't I'm dehydrated right off the bat. Oh, I'm not seeing any comments. No. Are you guys commenting? There we go. All right, Lisa, let me pull a card for you. 
Thank you for the stars, whoever sent me the stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what do we got for Lisa? What do we got for Lisa? Prosperity, prosperity. Maybe we have, we just have to stand in it that we're gonna have it. This insecurity and fear will keep it from you. You're really working hard and I can tell it in your energy. But we're gonna have to look, we're gonna have to trust more. We're gonna have to trust more, okay? We, that's, I mean, that's a given. We have to, There's a, it's not a maybe kind of. If we wanna complete the task that we are on, then let's, let's trust more. Let's stand in our faith, okay? All right, who's next? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I hope that resonated. Did you, did you, hang on, maybe I could, go ahead and uh, list it again, maybe I can pin it. Okay. It's okay, baby, you've come so far, you're doing really good. Let me see if I can see it on this one. Oh, there's a lot of fun. Lisa, things were hard again. Yeah. And that's the way it's going to be. See, that we've, we've got to get this idea that uh, everything's going to magically, you know, once we get all this stuff in line, that life's going to be great. It can be good at times, but I'm telling you, there's going to be problems as well. There's going to be issues. Um, Go. Let me see. Let me see if it lets me pin it. Oh, it only lets me block it. All right, so if anybody wants my PayPal, you just have to ask. Or maybe it'll let me on here. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't let me move. It doesn't let me move at all. I'm sorry. So we can't pin it. Maybe you can if you go in through my account, Peggy. Give me, um, I know, baby, you're doing a great job. So that's just confirmation. That's like, that's trying to tell you to keep it up. Keep up the good work, okay? They said I was okay to stay in here. Okay. Um, give me an emoji and let's do another card. Let's do another card. Come on. Underlay, underlay. <laughs> underlay, underlay. Do emojis. Give me emojis. I only answer the emojis. Yes, the hearts and love. Thank you. That helps my algorithm. I've been out because of surgery. If you want to make a donation, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, but that's okay. Diana, let's do one for Diana. Is my PayPal pinned? Diana, what do we got for Diana? What's going on with Diana? What is going on with Diana? Miracles. Didn't you get a card like this the other day, the last time I read for you? Did you have something like this the last time I read for you? Huh? I think you did. Have faith that your mir miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender. Surrender. We want miracles, but we have to surrender control. Uh, try to go through my page. Try to come in on through the page instead of your page. Instead of your profile, come in through uh, the unique and see if it'll let you do that. 
Um, it just won't let me do anything over there. You, you have to let go of control. You just have to let go of control, baby. Um, and you like to keep control. I understand that, and that's great. Um, but you can't. It's just an, the things that you control is how you, your thoughts and your, you know, if you control your thoughts and you control your feelings, because it starts with a thought, that, you know, but this is controlling your outside world, and that's okay, but if you want miracles to happen, you can't control it all, okay? All right, let's do another one, and if anybody wanted to get a, a reading, just let them know. I'm going to take you guys... Um, after I'm done with these readings, I'm going to take you guys up. I'll come back live and we'll go upstairs to uh, see the, what's going on up there. You got a lot of activity up on the third floor? Do you have a lot of activity up on the third floor? Oh, yes. I know yes. what you mean. I'm sorry. I'm even playing that right now. I was like, no? Yes. <laughs> Do y'all have any fun things? 304 and 307. 304 and 307? Yeah. 304 and 307. Yeah, we have two other rooms, but I'm like, I only heard that a couple other times, but 304 and 307 seems to be the chatter. Oh, okay. It's kind of cool because I can see them. Uh huh. Oh, really? So yeah. you've been up to the third floor? Not yet. Oh, I'm going to do my up readings there. first before I go up there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Sorry I'm about not, that. No, no, it's okay. That's what I came here for. But I will go up there. Yeah, that's real four and three, right up in that hallway, like they say. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Do you hear anything strange? All right, give me emojis. You're welcome, my love. Thank you for being a supporter, too. You guys know you can be a supporter for only four ninety nine. You get a free card. I put cards in there all the time. You'll have a discount on the classes. The classes are, are going to be twenty-two, twenty-two. But if you're a supporter, it'll be seventeen, seventy-seven. So you save some money there. I'm going to be doing about seven little small classes and one big. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Oh, you're going to have to pin it though, Peggy. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. There you go. Peggy did it. Peggy, you're so awesome. Thank you. I love you so much. You're so helpful. My team, i got a great team of angels. Hey, there's Terry. I'm very, very blessed. I'm, I've learned the hard way, and I'm sure you guys know, I've learned the hard way about have it, who I have around me. <laughs> so I'm very, very careful. All right, so... Let's say Ash, no, Ashmo, Ashmo. What's going on with you, Ashmo? You're busy with, what are you busy with? Let's see. Are you Hi. Are you ready for us? Uh, what's your name? Betty and Bobby. Okay, yes. Yes, we yes. love to help her. Yeah. Her. yeah. Okay. Okay, where do I sit? You can sit over, well, unless you want to break right there. Okay. All right, give me just one second. I'm gonna pull a card. I am live. Okay. Is that okay. I'm I do. I do a lot of lives. I have a page and all. Just that take stuff. me a minute. It was hot okay. and crap out there. There you go. And here's my card. If you want to join my group. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. we have a lot of fun. Bonnie. Okay. Let me see. Let me get my glasses. She's got okay. My glasses. That's fine. Um. Hold on. I am so grateful for you guys. So let's see. Ashmo, Ashmo, you're doing something. You're doing something with business. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, my love? <laughs> Support. You're doing a lot of stuff, but how often are you asking for support? Ask for help. Get more rent. Uh, what is that word? Get more nature yourself. Ask for help. Get more in nature yourself. Well, support to me is just especially connected to you. Uh, you've I've watched you grow. I've been I think you've been around me a while, Ashmo. 
uh, it seems like I, I've seen you and, and felt your energy for a long time. Um, and I would say that you, um, you just need to, you should be surrounded by people that support you. Okay, whether it's online or, you know, in person, whatever it is. But you need to also, you can't expect people to know when to help you. You have to also ask for help. And you're not doing that very well. And that's what they want you to do. Especially something about business. Am I correct? Can you confirm that for me, please? Thank you. All right. What are, what are you looking for, my friend? Um, I don't have anything to compare it to. I've never done this. You've never had a reading before? Nope. Okay. Don't even know anything about it. Okay. Well, thank you for allowing. Okay, Ashmo, be good. Uh, my sister's had one, and she said they're great, so she wants me to have one. Okay. So. Well, what I do is I read Oracle, and I'll do a general reading, and we'll see what the angels want to say. I like to connect to the angels. Okay. Uh, I can do tarot, um, but tarot is just a story. Okay. I, I'd much rather tell you what, what's going on and how you can make your life better. Okay. That's how I use this tool. Okay. Uh, I can do me mediumships and love readings and all that other stuff, but that would be book private. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to get busy pulling yours. curiosity at this point just to see. <laughs> You're going to love it. The angels, I love working with the angels. I always work with the angels. What does that mean? Like the archangels okay. and the, uh, the angels underneath the archangels and sometimes guardian angels, but not very often the guardian. They're more, more they stay more with the people that they are assigned to. So you believe in guardian angels? Oh, uh, yes. I've, I've seen it, honey. I can go upstairs and find the spirit and tell you. I can see him. Okay. Um, I got involved in this because my husband died. Well, my mother died, then my husband, and five months later, my brother was found. Okay. And I identified him after two weeks of being dead. Oh, shit. And, yeah, and that put me in a funk of almost suicide. I was wanting to kill myself. I was just like, oh, fuck this. I'm out. A lot of death. Yeah, too much death. And um, then... <laughs> Then I found, <laughs> then all of a sudden I kept finding these piles of feathers on my front porch and on my back, back porch. And I always go outside in the morning to have my coffee. And I was like, has a cat killed a bird? So we cleaned it up. There's no bird there. It's just feathers. And um, I um, was like, okay, well, I don't know what this is. And then... You know those covers on the microwave that you use so things don't splatter? Mm -hmm. uh, my husband was really bad about like heating up his stuff, and mind you, he was Mexican, so it always was saucy, and he wouldn't use that cover. <laughs> and it used to aggravate the shit out of me. I was like, why can't you put that on your food? Yep, because it's splashing everything, right? And he's like, no. Okay. But that, that lid was back out. I opened up the microwave. There's a feather in my microwave. Aww. There's a feather in my microwave. The next day, I wake up and I have coins in my bed. A lot of coins. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on here? And then I found a feather on my keyboard because I worked from home. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? And my, I was telling my son, I said, have you noticed anything kind of crazy? Or, oh yeah, I talk to dad all the time. All I got to do is climb that tree right there and I talk to dad. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, he calls me. We had, we talk in the tree. Aww. And I was, I was like, oh my goodness. So, what we did, I did a lot of studying. I did a lot of, I went to a lot of lives looking for people, and you know, to read my husband. They could just connect to my mom or my brother. They couldn't, they couldn't connect to him. Uh, I had one guy that kind of did a little bit, but not not good. Uh, but he was like a mentor type of thing, so he had some classes. I took his classes. I started searching and reading everything I possibly could, and he urged me to go live. He urged me to read, and I'm like, I don't care about reading. That's not. I want to get into mediumship. I don't give a shit about doing all this. And that's it. I told my kids, I'm only going to get one deck of cards. <laughs> my archangel. Okay, and now look and at then, all your yeah, look what I have. <laughs> and you're going to get a reading out of each one of them. Okay. Uh, it's just, you know, 
I, I connected and I'm very blessed. I can do, you know, really good mediumship and I take pride in that because I know what it's like to be you right there looking for that um, answer. Yeah, and to be scammed and, and hurt and disappointed. I know what that's like. Um, and it still goes on. Those people are still around. Um, so I've taken my tool, and my goal is to have, you know, I'm starting some classes so I can teach people how to clean their spiritual energy um, and, and cleanse and all that stuff. And I'm just doing like, a, I'm going to do a bunch of little, little bitty $22 classes, a couple hours. And, um, you know, just build it from there and try to help people. You don't have to do this. But you can, once you get connected and you start using, you start connecting to your inner self, mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole new ball game. You're not playing the same game anymore. Okay. You, you are I not playing you. the same game. It's, it's totally different. And that's, that's the key to life. The bad shit always happens. It's just life. Right? Yeah. But, man. Once you can really connect to you, because you connect to your inner child, you can connect to your higher self, you connect to the divine, like whatever you believe in, it doesn't matter, it's all the same thing. And shoo, you got guidance right there, baby. Okay. Your life will have, you know, you won't be worried about all that outside noise that's going on, all that shit that they're trying to make everybody scared about. You know, oh my God. Da 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 da. Everybody's freaking out. 99.0% recovery wet rate. Come on, man. <laughs> see how good that is? You see how yeah. good they did? Yeah. Okay, and you can hold that. That is sel selenite. Keep you clean. Water re read. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm very connected right now, so I'm on a, you see I'm like laid back? Because it's, it's at, I am just rolling with it. That's good, baby. You're safe, I promise. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start right here. Oh, looky there. I'm, I'm gonna show me your cards, okay? We are live. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I do a lot of lives on my page. Right. So. Okay, she got the Believe card. You guys know what that one is. This is one of my favorite cards. <laughs> Because this, th we just talked about connecting to the divine. So our faith in God isn't very strong. Is that correct? It's what? Not very strong. It comes and goes. Okay. That's okay. I mean, there's no right or wrong answer there, baby. But that's what they're telling me. That's what this means. You see, I can read you without these cards, but these cards help give you a visual of what I'm talking about. Do you see Gaia? Gaia is Mother Earth. There's the universe, and you've got the God, the hands of God around you. You're, you're in that boat, but you're always going to be okay, no matter how screwed up the situation gets, if you have faith. If you don't have faith, then you won't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do that to everybody. I'm sorry. They allow, everybody does that when I read them, and that's okay. All right? Um, but even if this boat crashes and a big old tornado comes in and destroys it all, it gets rebuilt. It's just stuck. I used to have a lot of faith. It's I know. But you can't waver in your faith, baby, because if faith is what you are, you are your faith. That That is where your integrity comes from. That's where, you know, just you are because you come from that. Huh? I feel like it let you down. Huh? I like it let you down. Because of things that happened. They cannot step in and stop everything. And, you know, I understand that it can be really frustrating. It keeps me. And to this day, some days I have where I am laying in bed and I cry. I miss my husband. I miss hugging him. I can talk to him. I can see him. I can, you know, but that's not enough. But it's okay. I'm okay with it now, you know? And whatever, what situation has disconnected you, it's not 
his fault. It's really not. He loves you very much. You're from love. You've got the you've got God's divine love flowing in you. You just don't have the connection. You need to dig deep and let's figure out why why don't we have that faith? Okay? When you have faith, there's the hands around you, baby. Okay. Divine order. <laughs> it's gonna be all about God here. You watch every one of these cards. It's going to be about your faith. <laughs> oh, here, guys. Divine order. Got the, every one of these cards right here are going to be about faith. Watch, watch and see. Divine order. You know, I don't know why. Nobody knows why. But things happen for a reason. And that's, to me, that's, that's like a slap in the face. Right? When people tell you, oh, everything happens for a reason, um, it feels like, you know, you're like, well, fuck you, right? You're like, no, it shouldn't happen. There's no sense in this or that. But you have to remember, everybody has free will. Yep. And that's the part that messes everything up. And people want God to step in and stop things. God is an energy, and he could stop in and do that. But that's not what he does. Because if he did that, he'd have to step in in every little... I mean, if you go to touch the... Uh, step in the street wrong, he's going to have to be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what makes us different from animals. It's a free will. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what I tell myself when I feel like you. Because I went through... You know, who doesn't go through that stage? Everybody does. But you have to see the heinousy of evil to appreciate the majesty of love. You can't know what love is if you haven't seen what hell is. Yep. Okay? So just remember that, okay? <laughs> Told you. Told you. Okay. Divine connection. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Every one of these is going to be about God. Um, I'm just waiting. You know, why don't you start with an angel first? Connect with an angel. It really helps. I just when don't you, know how. You, know? The, you can follow, honey. I've got a support group and stuff. You can learn. Just start following me and I'll help you. Okay. Okay? Um, because that's what I want to do here. Because this is magical and it can change people's lives in such a good way. And then if your life becomes positive, then you send out positive energy. And that's one more sending out positive energy. This world needs all the positive energy it can get. So stupid shit stops us. Okay? Rest and rejuvenate. Take some time out. So you can connect to God. When you did pray, how did you pray? Just direct. Just talk. Okay. On your knees, outside, in the shower. Usually in bed alone. In bed alone. Okay. Get on your knees. Get out of bed. Bed is the worst place to pray. You know why? Because it sets in desperation. Because you're vulnerable in your bed. You know what I mean? Um, you should pray for what you need in the morning time. But in the night time, just pray what you're grateful for. So that way your mind is in a positive place. And you'll be able to rest easier. And have better dreams, and, you know. You know what I'm saying. So in the morning, pray for what you need. Okay. But at night, be thankful. I don't find three things to be grateful for. And I am very grateful. Right. Really but am. you need to say it out loud. Okay. And then they gave you innocence. <laughs> she got the innocence card. So. There's something connected to your childhood here, too. <laughs> right? Probably. Not probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to slide out of that. It doesn't work with me. <laughs> that doesn't work. Right? Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. But you you got to deal with it. we got to come to terms with it. Okay? okay. you got to work on it. Because you need to go back and... 
connect to that in any society when you're in a child. Okay? Because that's the part of you that has faith. Let me tell you something about the past. It's no longer real, baby. It's not real. It's just a memory now. It no longer exists. I cannot get you. I cannot do anything to you. And the future is not real either. It's just a thought. It hasn't happened yet. You're alive right now, having a good time, doing something, living life. Okay? And my um, people are praying for you and they're sending up <laughs> prayers. So thank you. You can tell them. Thank, thank you. <laughs> okay, here's your spirit guide. Priorities. Priorities. So this kind of scattered that you got going on, let's kind of get it a little bit more in order. Okay? All right? Let's see. We have clean off some areas. Okay? Find you a place that you feel comfortable with in your house. Or even if it's outside. Find you a place that you feel... When you sit down, you feel just like, ah, okay, where is that place? And find that place, and that's your domain. Okay? That's kind of like... like I call them altars, because I, you know, I can teach you how to make a little altar. You, you know, you like your little candle or whatever. You don't have to do all that if you don't want to. But you need a place that you maybe you read a book or you just sit there. It's just that quiet time, okay? okay. It is what it is. <laughs> self explanatory <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that's your few, that's your past card. You know, I left home when I was two years old. I've been I got a lot of crazy shit that happened to me. And I saw a lot of crazy shit. Um, and I have a lot of scars. I've been to the hospital, I don't know how many times. I've had bones broken. I've been ran over with a car. I've had my uh, colon break. I have had my knee go. I, have, I mean, you name it. I just had a surgery about a month ago. Um, it is what it is. You know what I mean? You just can't, you can't stay Oh my God, why'd that happen to me? If I was sitting there going, oh my God, why why, why am I having another surgery? What is going on? Blah, blah, blah. If I would stick that mentality in my life, I'm, that's all I am. That's You know what I mean? So just say, it is what it is. It's not in your control. You can't do nothing about it. So fuck it. Okay? Uh, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Oh, I didn't. Oh my God, it broke. Oh my God! What does that mean? I don't know. You broke my damn crystal. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. We'll put that in there. My wow. <laughs> okay, that's different. Uh, let it go. And she got... <laughs> I don't know what to say there. I mean, crystal just broke in half. My black tourmaline just literally broke in half. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, that's protection, though. This is a protection stone. So that's that was the other card I didn't show you. So, um, and then uh, learning. So it just takes some learning, baby. That's all it takes. You know, just in little bits at a time. Don't try to rush knowing stuff. Take your time with it so it sinks in. Heaven sign. Heaven signs. Oh, heaven signs. Who's the male that's gone? Suicide, huh? That's why I'm a little upset. Good God. I don't know. 
it's not his fault. And I have one the see a motorcycle. What's a motorcycle? He would go to a motorcycle? Is that how it happened? On a motorcycle? Yeah. On a motorcycle? Yeah. 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 You didn't really have a good conversation? He's very close to you. He stays with you. You, um, you see what he's moving around. There's something in your house he's moving around. I see like a like a table. Do you have a table like close to the door? Yes. Okay. Um, there's something on that table that you know, he keeps moving. You need to pay attention to that table. When you go home, I want you to take a picture of how that table is. And I want you to keep that. And every time you walk by that, I want you to pay attention to that table. And something's going to be in a different place. Okay? And that's his, that will be his way of saying, Mom, I'm here. Okay. You know, for some, suicide, you know, everybody has their thing to say. Um, the one thing I had my husband do with me was, one, tell me if, heaven, if uh, hell was real. And he told me it wasn't. And then I, once I was able to do it, I asked him to show me how people go, like, you know, the, the way. And he did. And your son is no longer that. He is now just love. And he would connect with you more, and you would feel his presence more. But you have to let go, because when you do that, they know that you, they're the reason that you feel that way. So they stay away. They're there, but they try not to fuck with you too much because they don't want to upset you or scare you. Okay? It's not your fault. Um... It's hard, and, and it's, it's it, you know, grief, grief isn't something you're going to get over, baby. It isn't, okay? It's like I'm, I'm telling you you have diabetes, okay? This is going to be a lifetime thing. So you're going to have to work your life around it. You're going to have to change your diet. You're going to have to take this medicine. You're going to have to do this, that, to deal with this situation. That's the same thing with grief. It's not going anywhere, but we have to control it. And... Pay attention, start paying attention to around. The more that you pull out of that hole, because you're in that hole where I was, once you, you pull yourself out of that hole, because you got to pull yourself out. I can't pull you out. Nobody can pull you out. you got to do it. I wish I could. I'd pull you out in a heartbeat. All I can do is send you love and support. You have to pull yourself out of there. And once you do that, then you're going to start noticing shit everywhere. Okay? And it's going to be nice. 
you know, there'll be those, all of a sudden you'll get a thought. All of a sudden the, the uh, you'll, you know, you might hear something or you see a strange looking bird or, you know, you, maybe you find a feather. Maybe you find a coin. Um, you know, you'll hear a song. You'll have a picture of him. All of a sudden his face will be right there because he can say hello that way. But if you did it right now, you'd break down. You see? Okay. Woo, but he's with you, and he loves you, and he's sorry. But he's okay with you. And he really would like to be with you because he knows that you feel alone. You know? With some strong energy there. He loves you. Okay. He's okay. He didn't go to hell. I mean, he does have consequences. He's going to have to come to terms with it. He's going to have to feel how you feel right now. You have, when you go on the other side, you're going to feel everything you've ever done to somebody if you haven't made it right. So, but once you do, you stay in the line. And you get to do it again. Okay? And he's working on it. That wasn't very long ago. Was it? It was nine months ago. Yeah. I was sure to say it wasn't even a year ago. So he's working on it. But he can be there and help. Okay? And, and that'll, that'll give you some strength when you're dealing with the, the, the other side. Okay? Because he, he's, he, he didn't mean to leave you alone. Okay? People that commit suicide, they don't really mean to leave anybody alone. It's just, they just can't hang. And it's their journey. And it sucks so bad. It, it does. You know, I take my son to a grief group, and all it is is, um, <coughs> you know, all kids have a loss of mom or dad, right? And I go in that room, I don't even go in there anymore. Because I can see all the spirits in there. Most of those people sitting in there, at least 60 to 70% of them are in there because their mom or dad committed suicide. You know, that's why we've got to raise our very big, it's a big thing right now. It's been a big thing for a long time, but it's a bigger thing this past year and this year because of all the stupid shit that's going on. Okay? Um, so you need to be careful that you don't fall in that spot because you are thinking sometimes. Don't do that. When you feel that way, you get your ass up and you start doing something. You go outside. You go take a shower. Okay? Do not sit in that. Because if you sit in it, you will do it. And then you leave another. You'll leave that sun behind you. He's, He's already the lost his brother. Yeah. No. That's the reason why I didn't. I had my son. I had a plan, honey. I had some pills. <laughs> I was ready to, um, I was ready to go. The grief is just real bad. It is. And you know what, in my, I'm not trying to sell myself, but I do have a supporter group, it's like $4.99 a month, and in there we're going to be doing a question and answer once a month, and we're going to be doing a grief group once a okay. month, okay? It's not really about the money, it's just some show your, that you're really there for into the right, it. yeah, into it, because I don't mind giving stuff free, but if I give well, other big you stuff, you got to make a living too. Yeah, well, and you know, they just don't work on it. Yeah, I've done a few free uh, shadow works, and it turns out when horrible. you pay for something, you feel yeah, more you, dedicated you, exactly. to it. Exactly. All right, so your energy, I mean, your energy, your energy with the American Indians are universal law, learning and sharing. Universal law is like learning about what I was telling you that I kind of teach, and then learning. You got learning here, okay? I have uh, lots to learn. Yeah, you got divine <laughs> order, so you, you got learning in all three. Okay, and sharing. Because once you get past these two, that's what you'll be doing. You'll be helping people. That's what we do. We heal and we help people. We can't help people until we heal. Some people say they can do it and you're not giving the right energy to people. You're doing more damage than good. So we heal, then we help people. No more complaining. <laughs> now these cards I read because they just always have something beautiful. 
Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedoms. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. I'm going to read that one more time. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which never, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch the positive affirmations bloom into reality. Girl, you got some strong shit here. A gentleness. I'm sorry, I cuss. I apologize. Um, oh, I cuss. I'm like a sailor. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It just, it just comes out that way. <laughs> uh, but I'm not calling you by name. Oh, I don't no. Really I, I get it. Yeah. Gentleness. Be easy on yourself. Easy. That comes from a lot of the, you know, the guilt that you have on it, and that's cool. But, um... You need to um, be easy on yourself. Go, go do a bubble bath sometime. <laughs> you know. Okay. Come join my group. I think it's on there. Let me see. Let me see that. Cause I don't. I need to get some new cards because I have another group. Um, and my sister's next. We're not going to tell her about it. Either. No. What What happens is right here. Um, I think I got the awakening. Right? She just worries. Yeah, I can see why. But that's okay. You'll get through it. If you want to. I do. You gotta want to. I really do. It's hard carrying so much load. Yep, it is. And it's time for you to let that go. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Exactly. Believe it or not, you really helped me. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. And you can always reach out to me. Um, I live over by the Hilo Mall. Where do you live? I don't know. Okay, so you're not, not too far. far. Yeah, you're not too far. Straight down 20. Yep. I used to run Rusty's Billiards over there. Yeah. <laughs> I ran it for about nine years. I ran it through the whole 90s. See, I'm south of to right off the of sublet. Oh, okay. Walk. Yeah. So, so you're right, yeah. Um, and they're saying they want to see you in the uh, awakening group. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, then, you know, that's what it is. If you're having a bad day, post it. Say, man, my day sucks. We get a lot of you. Okay? My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. I hope it was helpful. I think it was. I'll go get her. Now. Okay. stretch very oh, much. Okay. Only because I had surgery. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um, oh. Alright, guys. I am live. Okay? okay. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay. I just... I didn't notice until... Yeah. I just want to be... I want to be uh, respectful. You know? If you're okay with it, great. 
I like to uh, go live with me. I have quite a bit of followers. And in between you guys coming, I'll pull cards for them. Um, but now it's starting to drop off. Because I guess they're not getting the cards. <laughs> that's the way it is, right? Give me, give me, give me. But that's okay. I get it. I used to be on that side of the thing. So what are we doing, my love? Well, I guess it's here. Uh, no, I do Oracle. Or is it Oracle? Yeah. Okay. I work with angels. I don't, I don't predict the future. Um, so what are we looking to find out? What are we needing to find out? You know, I really don't know. So we need a general? Yeah, okay. Probably, I don't really know anything specific. Okay. Everybody wants to know about their love life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where I'm going to go deep. Have you had one of these before? I've had a tarot reading. You've had tarot, not oracle? Um, Oracle kind of tell you what's going on and give you some info of what you can do um, without any kind of the tarot will tell you what direction you're going which is okay I can read tarot I just don't prefer it mm -hmm. because um, what happened in the past doesn't matter anymore you know we need to live right now this is where we are so let's I want to focus on reading people and helping them here and now so that's only reason why. best way to get confirmation. Sometimes you get cards that are the same thing. Your, your sister broke my her energy. <laughs> You're kidding. No, I'm, not, I'm dead serious. It's like it's broken. <laughs> it was on the card. I picked it up and it was gone. Wow. Yeah, she has, a, she has a lot of energy. Okay. I told her about my group, so stay on top of her Join my group, okay? Because okay. I have a support group and a grief group, okay? Alright. Let's get her down. Where do you want to start, spirits? Where do you want to start? Okay. okay. They want to start at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Someone else already had this tonight. This right here. You know, when we are when we are so worried about things and we stay constantly in kind of like a fear, right? We just like, I hope it's gonna be okay. Da -da 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 -da. Our ego will tell our fear and it just seems to grow and grow and grow. And then it comes doubt and distrust. Now we're doubting everything. These little guys will start talking. Remember there's so much that you can't control. All you can control is you. Okay? And I know you've got some concerns about people around you. But just love. Try to stay in love, but don't worry. That way they're comfortable coming to you. Because if you stay in, uh, you stay in fear, they won't come to you because they don't want to upset you. Okay? Self-discovery and vulnerability. 
Okay, here's your first card. So sorry. And then she got this beautiful, uh, that's beautiful, with a buffalo. You know, look up the white buffalo, the meaning of the white buffalo. Look it up. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we got leadership. That's beautiful. She's got leadership. Now with leadership, you see, you can, the ones that you're worried about is the ones that you can lead. But we, you know, what we have to do, we have to lead by example. We can't really, and that goes back to this, okay, just, yeah. I think if you did some, uh, that, some meditation, like, you know, if you took some baths or long walks just by yourself, or just kind of, like, don't care, just, just stay in bliss for a little bit. Um, and let go, let go of the fear and let go of the control. It's going to be okay. And she's going to be okay. Right? She's going to be okay. That's your fear. But she's going to be okay, I promise. That's why I asked you to bring her into the group. She'll be okay. Did you hear that? Join in. Join in and learn me. Join in. Join in. Oh, maybe the two of them. Oh, okay, that one goes there. Okay. <laughs> They're like yelling at me. Uh, join in. So, you know, she's going to start learning some stuff. Either to help her and support her. You know, even if you don't know, it's something you don't know. You know, just put on the phone. Be there and be there. Okay? Okay, she's, she's going to be okay. She got me in here. Butterflies, join in. Career transition. What are we doing? We're trying to look to do something else. <laughs> That's where we're at, right? Oh, the same thing, the same thing for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of backwards. Yeah. Uh, uh, do it. You know, we don't want to be somewhere where we're working, um, and we don't want to go to work. Um, I don't know if I should. Yeah, show you guys. Uh, we don't want to go somewhere, because you're going to spend, you know, 48 hours a week going. Plus drive time. That's a good chunk of your time. So if you have to work, you better find something you enjoy. Or look at your job from a different light. Maybe you could enjoy that job if you looked at it differently. Because no matter what your job is, your job is customer service. I don't care if you're making the product or if you are um, answering the phone. Everything going down the line is customer service. So find a way that you can, like I, I have a job and I wish I did. I wish I could do this full time. Um, but I think my job is boring. But I make it fun because I just think of, you know, some kind of way to, you know, because I answer the phone. Or the okay. Fulfillment. See? This is what's going to be fulfill you. You need to have, you need to have a little more of it because you're not, um, it's, it's just a missing. Right? And that's okay. Just, just need to step up and do it. Yes. Love begins. So when you start doing this and expanding, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take this. I'm, I'm taking back control of my life. That's where love starts coming in, self love, and then it starts to protect, uh, create this vortex. And it creates, and then boom, the angels of God, whatever it is that you believe in, they're there. 
No, I mean, you, you want to go ahead? I'm done with this one, yeah. Thank you, thank you for that. I, all right, guys, I'm going to get off. Well, we'll let them talk. Huh? Turn it off. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this now. Just a bird on. DJ, will you take a picture of this for me? Yeah. Of course. I'll take a picture of it. You're welcome. And if you ever want another reading, sometimes I can, if you like, I can also um, do your reading for you and record it and send you it. And you have it to look at. That's kind of good. Or I can do the pictures and audio. I do. I love this stuff. Okay, well, thank you. I'm always live. Oh, here, let me write down. Yeah, no, mine's talking. DJ, go ahead and end that. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, they're in here now, so I'm going to stop for a minute and I'll start back up. But I probably won't go live because i got to recharge, okay? Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. I love you. And adios. If I go upstairs, I will go back up. I was like at 60.